Welcome to the CFG Gamecast episode number two, uh, 223, a weekly podcast created by gamers and streamers alike to discuss the latest gaming topics from the previous week. We stream a new episode and release it on all podcast services, so do us a favor and show us some love by liking, following, and subscribing to the, our YouTube channel, the CFG channel, or go to our main website, confreaksgeeks.com to not miss an episode. I am Mr. CFG Games himself, Davis Green, and with me today, I got my two awesome co-hosts. I got Lex in the second seat. What is going on, my cyborg? Oh, I had a very, very eventful morning. Um, uh, got another cat, I know. Is anyone surprised? No, got another Smitty cat. was a you little. You the cats for the past, like, three months. <laughs> or is it the same cat? Davis. Or you have a different cat? I got a new cat today. The black one is the new one. <laughs> oh, that's not what that was? We did trick you. We went over this. We oh. went well, over this. I literally told you that, that we were trying to prank you, and then you... Okay. Anywho, I, <laughs> I have three cats. This is how cats, much she pays attention. And, oh, there she is. And one... Oh, why am I flicking... Ah, and one dog. Just... I have three cats now. Um, Because we should have gotten two kittens together, but... That didn't happen originally. So now we got Bashir kitten. So Obi has Jadzia. Jadzia got Bashir. She don't want Bashir. So now we got Bashir his own kitten. It's a tiered event. They're gonna start a gang. I don't know. It's it's delightful. <laughs> but I'm letting her chill out and hear different podcasts. It's a little hot. I feel like Adam turned the air up. Um, but I did play DBD this week. My spoopy crew had sworn off DBD for a while. Um, reasons being they said that it was not killer friendly anymore. And even oh. doing killer um, friendly, like as in how, uh, I guess. So, well, and that's what I asked. I was like, give me the details because this is, this is noteworthy and no one's talking about it. So basically they made it so that <clears throat> it wasn't equal playing field for the killers with the survivors. So they kept giving new perks or updating perks that were previously one way to making them more, as they said, balanced, but uh, my friends very, very harshly disagreed. They're like, absolutely not. It is not killer friendly, which a lot of people that I watch as content creators mostly play survivors and they were having a blast. So I was shocked to hear that from them. But this week, there have been a bunch of updates since then. I want to say if Mayor can confirm, I feel like they swore off DVD in February. So we haven't played since February. So there have been like four or five updates since then. Um, we played this week. We did custom games like we always do. Um, and we had a blast. Uh, I got my butt handed to me. I, new glasses so I can see better? Yeah, great, sure. I can see my butt getting kicked better. That's what that was. <laughs> um, it was fun, though. We had a blast. Thursday, because uh, I usually play with the Spooky Crew Tuesdays and Thursdays. I've been offline lately. Um just doing little check-ins with myself, you know, mental health. Woo. Uh, but Thursday, I was not feeling well, so I didn't get to play. But we had a blast. Uh, it was a lot of fun, even with, you know, three survivors, one killer. Was that? Or did we have four? Nope. That's, we have four people in our spooky group. So, yeah, it was a lot of fun. It, was, it felt balanced to me. Uh, I survived twice out of however many games we played. But the boys are also really good. I suck. So, survivor or killer, I'm awful. <laughs> well, that's good. You well, feel I mean, that? Like, yeah, I'm I terrible. De I definitely understand. I can't even juke. I can't even play the oh. game. I have the I've I've had the game forever and I've never played it. You know but, what? The I have the best the best clips from JTZ when he played with us and he was joining our spoopy crew once a week. He was playing the chainsaw killer, um, mm. and he couldn't figure out how to stop, and so you would just hear. Across the field, <laughs> laughing hysterically. He was like, I don't know how to stop. It was great. It was fantastic. Yeah, One of my great. favorite all times that we played DVD. I think Nightmare Peter Pants, so did Drago. It was hilarious. <laughs> it was fantastic. But uh, yeah, so I guess we're not swearing off DVD anymore, is the whole lesson learned there. So yay. Oh, there you go. I think well, that's how I met Kiathil and uh, AJ. Yeah. We're playing DVD with uh, Vic, Midnight mm -hmm. Victoria. Yeah, which is funny because I feel like AJ, the only games I've ever played with her, well, that's not true. I played a handful of stuff with her, but like Fortnite duos, we won a lot. And then uh, DVD is, yeah, mm, I yeah. miss AJ. Yep. I, need to, I know. I need to call that girl. Nice. Mm-hmm. 
Hey, but Lex. Yeah. yeah. You know who is the master of, <coughs> excuse me, the master of the uh, automatic shift on a car? I do. <laughs> His name is. The five-star general of the itty-bitty Smitty Committee. I got Smitty in the third seat. What's going on, my dude? Uh, not a whole lot. Same old. Still got this thing in my arm. Hopefully, had a bunch of shenanigans with the doctor. Hopefully, early next week, I will be able to get this out. I feel way better. doesn't matter. We just wrapped up with the, uh, I got, I got my draft sent over for the final shape review. Uh, I've been loving what they've done. Like, everything kind of rolled in together from launch three days after the raid happened 18 almost 19 hours after that the final mission was unlocked once the raid was beat and then they kicked off with echoes the first episode uh on tuesday so everything has been you know my focus has been on destiny 2 gaming wise i really haven't played anything i feel bad i'm like i totally completely forgot about hell divers 2 i haven't played that in the grip um, I haven't I have played some, heard anybody talk about. I know, I know. He hasn't kinda, it either. Yeah, I mean, it just, it, I mean, there's so many. It could games, just be like, fatigue so because out. yeah, there's just so and much stuff fatigue. constantly coming out. Yeah, so yeah, we're old, so, we're tired. Uh, can I see? <laughs> yeah, well, and they said themselves too that they're gonna dial back on the amount of updates and stuff like that, which is smart because again, you see people have gotten burnt out. New games are coming out and stuff like that too. So people are set, setting aside those old faithfuls to play some of the new games and bang through those. So lots of updates, especially with summer game fest going on last weekend. I think it was, um, you know, a ton of updates and things that are going to be coming out here and in, in, in the following months. So not surprising that it's dialed back a little bit, but, um, yeah, you know, other than that, though, I haven't really just kind of been doing uh, just IRL stuff a little bit, still uh, getting into the swing of things and yeah, yeah chilling really. We I mean, we got a stream in, but it was Destiny 2. Yeah. So, you know, yes. Fun fact if you get the like A OK to get that thing out, I know how to take it out. If you stop, Lex. Stop, <laughs> it's really stop easy. it, Lex. Stop it, Lex. I, I took out my line and I took out my friend Jessica's after <laughs> breaking. I was tired of it. I didn't need it. The nurse was taking I, too long. You, no, I, I understand. No, I don't want to. I'm going to do some crazy shit. <laughs> like, this, it bleeds too. Like, it'll bleed yeah. out. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, uh, you know, I mean, it's, no, it's that, in a vein, right? It, like, <laughs> Yeah, it's well, like apparently it like goes up to here. It, yeah, oh my it's god, totally here. it's like ten, and mine's a shorter a one. Time. Mine's only ten. Usually yeah. they go, they go directly to the heart. Oh yeah. my or god, they hit though. you right yeah. where your vagus nerve is, and so that yeah. they get that big old blood pocket. Maybe that's why. I, I had no now. idea. But yeah, I yours no is shorter. Idea. That's <laughs> easy. I mean, it doesn't feel good, but like just close your eyes and. <laughs> I'll put a yeah, pad I'll, on it and pull it out. No, I'll let the I'll let the nurse do it. Dude. <laughs> I appreciate the offer, I'm but cat nurse. I'll it's stick fine. with the the trade profession. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'd offer. Also, I I take out stitches. It's five dollars per stitch. You're welcome. Legs. I have gloves <laughs> oh my and medical God. scissors. Oh my god! No, I don't have to. No, 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 no. no we don't. I appreciate the thought, but that <laughs> is pretty if extreme. If I just, am over it though. If you were getting a little antsy, you know, I got you. I'm just saying. Oh yeah. Well, hopefully, oh, I am. I am. Ho Just, hopefully, yeah. we'll hear some good news next week, and you don't have to I'm be blowing dealing that with doctor this anymore. Up first thing Monday I mean, morning. It's been two months like, essentially, well, right? Like they almost, tried to make him an appointment uh, for next year. Excuse me. Or uh -huh. next yeah. year. In July. Oh, next month. Oh, that yeah. still feels like a year away. Who cares? That's still that would it's be that would make it two months of this thing no. being in my arm. That's yeah, not that's good ridiculous. either, though. Yeah, it was mm -hmm. the beginning of May uh, when I got this in, and they so. haven't redone the line. What do you mean? Like, no, a nurse comes every week and oh, I know, flushes it and, it and all that, but yeah. like they ha interesting. Oh, after, you mean the line that's inside of me? No. After two weeks, they switch sides on me. Oh, really? And they had to redo yeah, it, no. and then they have to do the stupid. Cause they, they that do sounds it on like they use the ultrasound. Yeah, yep. I watched it. I yeah. watched it. It's do fun. It. 
That may sound like yeah, the, the, like, the, the, the yeah. If they had to switch the lines, that either maybe they said like the vein is about to collapse or something like that, or something that was like, or it wasn't getting enough. I mean, granted, I do faint now, so, so that could be why. I don't know. Could it be because you took it out yourself? <laughs> no, I took out the short one. I didn't take out the long one. I took out the short one. All right, listen here. <laughs> No, I was, oh, like, yeah, I was gonna say my nurse said she can't even. She said that she can't take out ones that are on the chest. She's like, that's above my pay grade. Yeah, what? that's that would oh, be stop. crazy. It's easy. She's just like, nervous. <laughs> you can't do any oh. damage unless you just rip it out and don't do that. You go slow. Uh, uh, but uh, that's but uh, anyway, I don't even the, want to think about it. Yeah, that's, I can't even imagine <laughs> it either, man. But it's ridiculous. Knowing it's this far up my arm, I'm just like, oh. You yeah, I had no idea. Happened. I thought it was like sitting like right in here. Sir, I like, lived with a of there. permanent like, you said, tube in my heart out. In my yeah. neck. Yeah. Just, like, listen. Yeah, no. I'm not going to take any chances. I wouldn't take any chances either, though. I, so I definitely understand where you're coming <laughs> from on that. What happened but, to Smitty? How did he die? A lot. Yeah. It, ask it was Lex. Lex's it's her fault. Excellent. Yeah, ask Lex. Yeah. What was his dying wit? What was his dying operation. words? What was his dying words? <laughs> She's told me it was easy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! That's no, what happened. I ain't going out like no, that. No one's going. I ain't going out like that. Mm. Oh mm. god! But uh, as for me, though, like uh, I've been. Uh, well, I just did a live stream. The live stream for the Xbox showcase at the beginning of the week, which was. Uh, I have to say, uh, that was a really good showcase. It was. Uh, yeah, that was a banger, dude. I would have to say it was probably their best showcase in a while. It's been it's been a long time to get to go with it. I agree. Now, don't get me wrong, like almost half of those uh, half of those games were literally uh, were literally going to be multi platformed, but yeah, the exclusive games which was which I have been pro like like contesting that that's what they need to show. They 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 came they came, uh, they came in full force, and I think it, I think that's exactly what I was wanting to wanting them to do. So I mean, like, to say that I mean, a perfect dark. Who thought would have thought that? I cannot believe they're making a re- <laughs> they're finally doing that. I don't I know, know anything. Right? So the, yeah. what is perfect dark? I was I mean, an N sixty four game. It. it was a game that came out oh, in N sixty four back on like yeah. It. Back in the nineties, I played Mario sixty four. That was it. Yeah, so that'd be, that's mm. a that, that's a season a seasoned uh, uh, IP that we haven't heard from in like twenty years. I mean, it's at least it's, it's yeah. been crazy. Why so, are you yeah. aging us like that? That's disrespectful. I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> but uh, eggs under my eyes are doing plenty of aging us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I just got cat some cream that'll fix that. Put it on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. You're welcome. It's the retinol one. It's little. Yeah, it's yeah I know about that stuff. Like, they didn't they statistician. Yeah. yeah. So, You're welcome. Yeah. And then on um <laughs> Yeah, so it was funny on uh, on Sunday. So that was a really cool. That was a cool stream. Thanks for stopping by for that one. That was awesome. I did on a Friday. Uh, been busy this whole week, so I barely got any time to stream. I did, barely had any time to play any kind of games and stuff. But I did on Friday. Decided to get back onto V Rising, and uh, and uh, finally beat that boss uh, uh, on my own. So that was a that was a fun nice. uh, a fun one. But I'm like, but it was funny because uh, so so yeah, because like uh, but it was a complete fluke. And I am not going to do it, fight that boss again. And I thought I had to fight him again because something dropped and uh, something dropped. And they said like, "Hey, you sh- you should be able to do this." And I was like, "Wait, no, it didn't drop. So what what did I do?" It's like, "Oh, you might have thrown it away." And they're like, "Did I throw it away?" It's like, "Oh my god, go through all this whole process again." So, but luckily, no, it, uh, I'm good. So I'm just saying goodbye to that stupid thief boss. Uh, nope, boss. You're so yeah, do it with so me essentially, when I get there. <laughs> Dude, it, it yeah, okay. Did Adam talk to us? Because I know you said you were stuck. I was like, ask Adam. He he beats I, everything. Dude, I ask Adam every time I play, and not once. Okay, oh, really? so so not Damn. once. Dude, so, he's been working everyone, like every time I ask. At night. Every I, like all the people that I ask every time, and I say, hey, I'm gonna be in on this. Yeah. Not like maybe the only person well, that gotta, has come dude, by. You know again that we're older guys. people. You gotta you gotta schedule that shit out, dude. Yeah. I'm not like, scheduling hey, nothing. You what do you what? mean? I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. And I don't want to hear you complain about days people not and time. There. I'm just yeah. assuming. Yes, I'm just assuming. Well, you got to be available when I am. Yeah. Right. The only, yeah. The, what I'm going to do is like, I'm just going to assume that this is going to be a one player game for me. I'm just, I'm, I'm not going to ask no, you know, I I'm you. done. I did try to convince wow. him last yeah. week. I was like, he's playing B Rising and he needs help. Go get him. And he was like, 
No, she's <laughs> I'm, I, I'm not I feeling had good. Too much work to do. Yeah. I no, I mean it's fine. I'm just he yeah, worked till like, ten thirty twice this week. Yeah. I was like, no, you've been eating all day. Get off the computer. And his <laughs> boss was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know you didn't eat. I'm like, what do you think he did all day? He was like, oh, okay. I'm so sorry. I'll get off with him now. I was like, yeah, you better. <laughs> Yo, that's no. funny. I got pull on Draco. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like, yeah, so but no, so now I'm able to get to chapter two. So I've been working on that oh, a little oh, bit. Oh no, nice. And uh, nice. so then, uh, but yeah, so like, uh, but no, but other than that, um, and uh, other than that, it's been it's been pretty uh pretty cool. I know it's gonna be really a really busy uh uh it's July and maybe next month or so because I know there's a lot of stuff that's coming to be happening. Oh, and I also signed up. Uh, which I'm praying to try uh, to get into the closed beta for uh, for a new uh, hero shooter called Frag Punk. That game looks looked actually pretty good. This was a uh, hero shooter that was that was revealed uh, at the Xbox Showcase uh, that has mm-hmm. like it, it, that uses cards and then first person shooter uh, a first person shooter kind of aspect. So or or, or Overwatch Frag Punk. Oh. Uh, so yeah, so I want to try. That. I, I didn't really I missed the trailer. Yeah, that's really Adam cool. was talking about yeah, that. Yeah, it looks really good. So, like, uh, I want uh, it is on top of that, uh, the Marvel Rivals trailer that have or the Marvel Rivals closed beta for the PS5, I think, comes out in July, too. So, man, it's gonna be a lot of craziness. Like, even shoot, like, the first week of July is once human, I think, the day uh, on the third or on the second or the third, then it's uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, the final, the final, uh, not the final shape, uh, um. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. It was a, it was a new it was a new shooter. The ones you played before in the pat like earlier this year, it was in beta. Uh, that was looked really that looked really good. He's under uh, NDA, sir. I'm just I forgot what it's called. I mean, he is, but uh, uh, I that remember. I played. No, Smitty. Or Smitty. Smitty, play, Smitty oh. and uh, and uh, what's his name? Um, um, and some other folks played. Oh, why can't I remember? Anyways, another another uh, another shooter uh, uh shooter is going to go oh. to. <laughs> and stuff and uh yeah so i mean it the, like and then like also like freaking the earth tree expansion for for elder elden ring is coming out and stuff like that it's just, yeah it's just non-stop in july man i don't know what's gonna happen but we'll see see how that's gonna go uh but anyways but, before me. yeah anyways but i know we don't want to talk about just all the upcoming games uh, that's coming in july and what, what our workloads are going to be like so let's go through the normal rigmarole that we like to do each and every week so each of us chooses a topic in the world of video games uh the topic would or could be a game itself or something that happened in the gaming industry and we do not want to talk about it amongst ourselves we want you the listeners or viewers on twitch youtube kick and on twitter brand new now uh to be a part of the conversation so if there's something you're wanting to chime in about by all means just type it inside the chat we would love to discuss it with you and we will go from there so lex why don't you bring it to the table? I you bring it to get the table? to go first. All right. So everybody knows what Starfield is, right? Do, nope. do we need a Do we need a recap? Um, <clears throat> Bethesda mm-hmm. released Starfield, and it's it's been out. We've been promised four years that we were. I mean, when was Starfield originally released? Does last anyone year. remember off the top last year? Um, In September. So people liked it but there quickly was not enough content right and at this point not a lot of content creators are playing it anymore there's nothing really new and the fix is that people on their own time for free have been modding uh essentially now bethesda is saying well guess what we're going to come out with mods uh but you have to pay for them and they immediately got review bombed and it's Bethesda's done this before they just essentially come out and say well you guys don't like our game anymore and then that's why we're getting review bombed no 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 that's not it (laughs) you're getting review bombed because you made promises and then turned around and put everything behind a neat little paywall and that's when people are going to get pissed Okay, yeah. let me read a few of these comments just to give everybody a feel for for what's going on. There is more entertainment, immersion, personality, exploration in one square foot of Cyberpunk 2077 than in the whole 1K plus planets of Starfield. Do not support garbage games. 
again, we've repeated this over and over. Oh, Show these developers like what? That just sounds like Twitter. <laughs> yeah, that it's, it's, it's a ski review. But show these developers with your wallet so we're not going to take it anymore. Um, just buy Cyberpunk 20, 2077, or if you need the Fallout itch scratched, New Vegas, since it wasn't made by a trash fire company who does maybe 10% of actual work and the rest is fixed by the modding community. Someone said, I love this game. But the starships are useless, bases are useless, planets are randomly generated, boring mess of stale assets. There's a bunch of interesting missions and places, but it's just... And paid mods now? Go try No Man's Sky, or back to Fallout 4, or better, New Vegas. Though mm -hmm. I loved this game, I'm now writing a review coming back from my five star. Why would you put things behind a paywall that other people fixed for your game before you decided to do it. And a year later, no. So I don't feel bad for Bethesda. This isn't the first time that they've done stuff like this, but a mod behind a paywall? Like that, these are fixes that you as a company promised you were going to give these people that was going to be included in the game. And now it's behind a paywall. I wait, don't wait, think wait, this wait, was a wait, mistake. Wait, 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 wait. So, wait, are you saying so the mod that they were saying that they were going to add in the game uh, to make it better, they decided, okay, they, they kind of reneged on what they said and they said, okay, no, if you want this mod, you have to pay for it. So, essentially, as I, as I'm, as I've and been. And what is the mod? And what is the specific mod? I'm not familiar with most them. of them. So, um, basically, here, let me, da, 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 I give you better um so they were supposed to come out with an expansion but they were there's also little things and glitches that they were supposed to fix mm -hmm. um and we're still not gonna get that it still doesn't have a launch date it's been over a year but they put mods that people like the players themselves had done for free so um it doesn't say specifically but uh, where was it? Sorry, it's white writing. Even with my glasses, it's yeah. a little hard. Because like this is what this is where I kind of gather. Okay, mm -hmm. I, okay. Depending on what the mod is, if they promised, if they promise, if they promised the public that they were going to they were going to fix something, and then they and then they're going to kind of say no. Uh, it's like you know what? If you want this fixed, you I got to pay it. for us to do it. Right? Is it, 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 then yeah? That's that's some that's shady. That's shady as hell. Don't get me oh, wrong. Of course. How, how now? However. I'm just saying that now if it's a now if it's a like a cosmetic mod and then they're wanting to pay and then the company is wanting you to pay for them to do it uh, mm -hmm. I mean uh, I don't see the big deal unless unless they force unless they're 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 not allowing the public to make their own mods still now if they say you know. uh, yeah so if the public is not is being limited to not being able to make mm -hmm. their mods and stuff like that kind of like actually that's the reason why when they when when someone asked me oh what do you think of bethesda being bought by microsoft and then right. play, is that gonna be on playstation more i'm like okay good because it was terrible on playstation right. the reason why playstation wasn't so good was because they didn't allow people to mod and Correct. uh and and so uh so if they're gonna say if they're gonna go with this approach too then yeah, then there is a big problem with that, you know. So, so I'll but, read uh, directly yeah. from the article. Starfield is the latest title to face the wrath of gamers, but it's not for a valid reason. Oh, I'm sorry, but it's for a valid reason. Wait, I was like, what? Uh, recently, Bethesda Game Studios opened up official modding tools on Starfield and introduced elements like the Creation Club, which has previously surfaced on Fallout 4 and Skyrim. However, in typical BGS fashion, some of the mods introduced as part of the platform update were tucked neatly behind a paywall, which naturally angered fans worldwide, thus leading to the review bombing. So it's not just one mod or two mods that are fixing glitches. They basically put it behind a creation wall and they're it's like, the yeah, we know you modded that already and uh -huh. you can do it again, but you have to pay us to do it. So let me ask real quick, is this mm -hmm. update, because this is where I'm getting kind of confused. Yeah. Is this update not a free update? This is a paid update or they had an update that is free and then Shattered Space 
is going to be the major update that is paid. Yes. So that's that's exactly how that was supposed to put off the trailer of Shattered Space Expansion, which was revealed long before the game was released, still does not have a launch date. I don't think Shattered Space is a part like I think it's a DLC that you'll have to purchase outside Mm -hmm. of it. But Mm -hmm. they basically like, again, you can do mods for a ton of games and they have them for free in their other games, like letting people do their mods on Skyrim and all that. But on Starfield, you have to pay to do it now. Okay, but okay, um, okay. Uh-uh. Blue, Blue Spear on Twitch uh, is just mm-hmm. said here that the way that he understands it uh, is players made mods that fix bugs yes. and glitches, and now Bethesda is like, you can uh, you can make some money out of this and put these mods behind uh, behind a paywall. Is that wait? So, I, so that's those two saying. different People things. Have to opt in, opt into putting their creation behind this paywall that bethesda is gonna uh, has created. so they're basically one a cut of money for something that they had nothing to okay. do with yeah and, work, and they're offering the incentive to these mod creators to be able to make some money well the, the, it, I, 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 I so. that i'm thinking two different things here because like what you're saying is something different than what i'm what i'm interpreting because what i'm interpreting is is that to make the mods inside this game you there uh that's uh bethesda put a paywall behind the tools to do it right am i right is that what it is okay yes. okay so oh. but yeah so yeah so then uh so yeah it's so insane. then yeah so <laughs> now it's the, it's not all the tools but certain tools or whatever whatever it is now i'm not familiar with it just the I ones that you need deals. to make shit Ex- good exactly <laughs> correct exactly yes. to so, fix the weird shit that goes yeah on. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't know if they're trying to a lot because like I, it'd be weird because remember the, the, that's kind of like how some people you know were, were making secondary businesses in Fortnite and that that Fortnite was like frowning upon because they weren't getting paid. So I don't think right. they want to have that situation. So again. I don't think they're pl- they're paying these modders for these mods. Yeah. They're saying you can pay us. Here are the tools to do the mods. You're welcome. Like it's s- some s- it. It's like somebody giving you a compliment and then telling you're fat in the same sense. Well, you know, like it okay. doesn't. Do you know what this reminds me of? This is what this <laughs> reminds me of because this is this, like how. I mean, first off, when you're saying Starfield, like uh, like uh, Starfield has always had to mix had, had mixed opinions. Even in fact, that uh, Starf- oh, yeah. if, I, if I remember correctly, Starfield was my worst game of the year last year. If I yes. in, uh, on the pick, I get yeah. my yeah. S is weird. I'm like, yeah. is it Starfield or Skyrim that you didn't like? But yeah, I think oh, it the, is yeah. Starfield. You gave love. Starfield worst game was last year. yeah, because Starfield was half assed comparatively to what they did. It was supposed to be Skyrim in space, but then yet yeah, we got half of what what the content of what you could have done in Skyrim than what you got in Starfield. Everything was very repetitive. It was what was my, was my big issue. Now, what I'm understanding on this is that. Uh, and I mean, correct. I'm not. I I think they're all okay. So if if that's the case, if they're going to be hiding you, if they're trying to ch- uh, find the back door way of charging the community, the people who are loving this game or loved right. this game to do that, then they definitely need to uh, to to to, to downvote the downvote the shit out of it. Because what makes the you know what's funny when it, when someone says Bethesda is a Bethesda, uh, Bethesda's being Bethesda, it's because. Yeah the you because the community is what makes it as strong uh right. makes the game as strong as it possibly is because they always make they always have to make a custom thing to fix whatever the the yeah. jumbled up garbage that that but that's the made for it and and so and now you're saying now you not only that you're allowing uh allow uh, uh putting a price you got to the that, privilege to work on mm-hmm. our game yeah i know right <laughs> can you imagine <laughs> It, you know it's weird it's because yeah fix it yeah you get it's like okay it's like you, can you imagine if you were an editor of a website or whatever and then you yeah. allowed the community to write whatever they wanted to write yeah. but then you tell them oh well if you want to be on our like we're, we're, uh you're gonna have to pay us like ten dollars for uh, yeah. uh, uh, to do it even though or or ten dollars to proofread right. the, the issues and stuff like what is that, that that's like right. what kind of that's like a reverse help it's like oh let me fix this so- for you Mm-hmm. And I'm still kind of confused because I did. I read a separate report okay. that talked about a mission being locked behind a paywall within the vulture thing, yeah. and the and like it's seven dollars, but the currency, the you, you can't, can't get do $7. it like by dollars. You have you to have get to ten dollars, kind of yeah. like Bungie did. Yeah. <laughs> That's, dude, that's uh, what, Microsoft has always done. They that, do that though. all the time, though. That's is that yeah. new? 
Unfortunately, not. That. But that's part of the free yeah. update thing, though. That would, yeah. That's not even a Shattered Space, though. No. Shattered so, like, where Space doesn't have a launch from? date. And, like, where does that come in right. to all this? Because I thought this update was free. No. So when they were talking about something being, missions being locked behind a paywall, I was like, what do you, like, again, okay. I think this is, and we've been seeing a cut from Microsoft as well. Maybe Bethesda's over here trying to make some extra ducats to make themselves look good so they don't have to cut in places. Because it's only a matter of time if Microsoft continues. They're, they're still, there's you know, their their culling hasn't ended yet. There's still yet to be more things that happen on on that side of layoffs and things like that. So maybe mm. this is Bethesda trying to do something. But I swear, dude, Bethesda literally takes their fans, they shit all over them. They really do. And say, you get the privilege of playing our piece of shit game. Oh, you want to fix yeah. our game? You're going to have to pay us for the tools <laughs> to be able to do that. You should be yeah. grateful. Insane, Blue, man. Blue Spears said the up- yep. oh, sorry, go for it. You can go it's for okay. It, like. he, Blue Spears, good job, buddy. He says, so the update is free, but the content of the update? Not sure. <laughs> so, great question, Blue Spear. Thank you for coming. Um, and thank you for asking. Starfield's latest update since launch is now available. The May updates include more detailed surface maps. Apparently, they not really new gameplay difficulty. People are saying it doesn't matter because it still sucks and display settings, the new features for ship customizations and more. And that and more is that you pay us with this free update to get the moderating tools to now do the mods that you guys were already doing and giving out to your friends of our community for free. But now you have to pay us. Make that's insane. Sense, that's man. crazy, right? I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm What are y'all like, doing? You know what you know what I'm doing? You know, we should really make a segment when we get to these kinds of stories just these, with down votes. Beam Bethesda. Yeah. Just <laughs> the down votes of, on Steam, just to read some of these down votes on Steam. And some of these down votes are pretty wild. But like the whole thing is just like I never read the mild ones. It's yeah. uh you know and, and, and I I really hope that this is that this is gonna be uh, that this is well it sucks. It's like they I had don't such- at this point, dude. They showed me everything about them during Fallout seventy six. I was like, but that's the does yeah. not give a shit about their. Fans. No, they come out. They've come yeah, out they multiple did, times and say our community hates us. Your the community <laughs> doesn't hate you. They hate that you put these games out that are supposed to be beautiful masterpieces, and then you take a shit on them, yeah. literally. Like, like seventy six, I heard it has gotten better, but it has, but then again, but it's at the same time, the it's taken it's taken like seven or eight years for it to do that, and then and then not only that though, too on top of it, it's still broken. Uh, I think the biggest thing with Bethesda is that you just got to take you 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 just got to like just not put it on a pedestal than what people like to put it on because the biggest like no. when when 76 came out they said oh yeah all these updates are going to be free don't worry about any of the things like that then the next year oh we got a new paid a paid service for uh for 76 it's gonna uh, for any of the updates and stuff so so you basically just changed your mind and uh yeah. within that time mm-hmm. and then, and uh basically just lied to everybody in their face but anyways yeah but like you like i said take it for the grain of salt that uh, that it is, Starfield I think was complete is a completely overrated game. And then now yes. on top of that though too, to say that this is unheard of uh, unheard of process for for Bethesda to do oh, this, no. it, it it really it's isn't. Not. So no. like yeah, so you should. I was yeah. a Doom player. I yeah. don't play Doom anymore. Do we want to know why? Examples A through X right there. You know. Like yeah. I just I loved Bethesda. I loved Bethesda Studios. I loved the the ideas and the creations that they come out with. I hate the fact that they take too long to fix things. They don't seem to care. They blame Boys. it on us and say that, well, you guys hate us. Then why the fuck are That's you fixing crazy. it? Like yeah. why are you coming out and berating us when we're saying, Hey, do you mind fixing this weird glitch we're having that we can't continue with the game? Mm. And they basically mm. go like this. Well, if you you're got, not watching, that, I just what, flipped you know, When they said that th- that the bugs, when they basically said that the bugs are a feature, that <laughs> told me everything no. I needed to know. When did they say that? About them as oh. a company. Dude, it was like during their marketing <laughs> shit. Or, I can't remember exactly what it was, but it was something. It's somewhere along those lines, dude. That shit came out and it was just like, that is That's unbelievable. Terrible. Like they are, they will say it to your guys' face. And they will because say they, to their because fans, they know they, they know it won't matter. They know they they know they're yeah. going to still buy their game or something like that. You know, that's wild. what's crazy. 
But not it's anyways. Wild. Oh, I yeah. have that article. Oh yeah. The, yeah. Are. So, the article, um, the quote is bugs in the game is a part of the experience. Is that experience <laughs> trying to be Cyberpunk 2077? That yeah. is insane, dude. That's to crazy. try to sell the bugs as part of the experience. No, we're that not talking insane. about like giant cockroaches. No, no, no. Like your foot going through a planet, things like that, you know? <laughs> it's so funny though that that's the way they're going with it. But anyways, yeah, yeah but uh, they did have a they didn't have an official date, but they did say it's coming in the late twenty twenty four. Um so for shattered space. So if it, it, yeah, yeah. Well, but you didn't watch the Xbox showcase. I did not. <laughs> But yeah, so, uh, yeah, my my article doesn't say that, so yeah, it's that it still yeah. is is yeah, up in the air. So yeah, it's coming. They it's say coming things will come year. out in a year, but that it always gets pushed. So Who that's knows? probably why they didn't say it. You know? Yeah, we, don't yeah know. we don't have an official street date, but we know we have a a, a, a timeline. So that it, street so date, I like so that. Allegedly, yeah, allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. so we don't get sued so. again. I like Bethesda. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. Quit doing that. Knock it off. It's like a yeah. bad kid. Like, I feel like I need to spank somebody and put them in a corner. Like, knock it off. <laughs> Hello? Okay. I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, there you go. Uh, all right. Well, uh, my topic, uh, I want to talk about Bioware because Bioware really needs a win right now. Um, so uh, they basically kind of been flopping for since uh, for about almost for almost 10 years now. When you really think about it, it kind of sucks when you think about it because like, you got Mass Effect Andromeda was a bust, and then you got uh, 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 Anthem that was uh, that was also a bust. Then the, the massive delays of their upcoming IP with uh, with Dragon Age, uh, which 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 is which, which the whole Dragon Age thing uh, is is weird because originally they had they had one name. They said Dragon Age is coming. Dreadwolf. Yeah, the, it was a Dreadwolf originally, or did they change it, it was to Dreadwolf. something else? Okay, so so yeah, then for years they like, okay, we're going to officially call it uh, Dragon Age Dreadwolf, and we're like, okay, cool. But then not even a week before they announced the uh, the the thing, they said, oh no, we changed the name. It's the Veil Guard. It's like what? Yeah. Like what is going that on? Crazy. Why would you yeah. do that? I don't. I don't know. Well, yeah, I don't know what it is. So. Yeah, so that's my topic is Dragon Age uh, because I love Dragon Age. I don't know if y'all played Dra- Dragon Age before. Have y'all played Dragon Age? I played a little bit of Inquisition. That's the uh, only one. I don't think so. Uh, Inquisition? Okay, so know. yeah. Yeah, so Inqu- yeah. well, I mean, Inquisition was a good one too. So, uh, but uh, yeah, but I played the first, uh, the first one, the first, second, and Inquisition. And... Mm. Uh, but I don't know how much how, I don't know how much you played, but it, it, it had a style to no, it. I not, much. not much. Okay, so it does have a style to it. There was a move. There's a feeling, and there's a there's a deal of a, like uh like a feel to the Dragon Age universe, which is kind of dark a little bit. Uh, you know, a dark, a little bit moody. The system, uh, the system, the battle system was cool too, and everything. Now I am fine with change. Final Fantasy 16 was a completely different game than any other turn-based game that, that any of the Final Fantasy series and stuff like that. And then there's a lot of other games you can go go uh, go compare it to uh, uh, that that has changed ma- massively to what it is. But the change that I've seen in Dragon Age, and this is what I'm kind of, and this uh, it, it's a little worrying to me. So. Uh, so uh, uh, on the uh, on the Xbox showcase earlier this uh, this on Sunday last Sunday they sh- they showed the premiere of Dragon Age the Veil Guard they had an, they had a video they had the uh, video cutscene of how the game is going to look like um, and what how the story how the game is going to go is that you're going to be a group of seven people that uh, that is a te- that they'll be they'll make a like a team like a misfit team to uh, uh, to fight uh, to fight the e- uh, the evil in uh, in the area now. How the game, uh, the game style, the game's look itself looks nowhere near to the story that you would ever, you would never look at it as a Dragon Age game. Like if anyone who's a fan of the uh, of the series will look at this, it looks a lot brighter. This looks a little, uh, this looks a little, uh, a lot different than what you're normally going to do. And then I'm like, oh wow, it's like okay. Uh, We've been waiting years for this, and this is what we're seeing. It's kind of a little unsettling, but you know what? Let me just see what the gameplay is. Maybe the gameplay is gonna is gonna uh, uh, give us a uh, a different look of this. And um, and I saw the game. They actually have a gameplay trailer that came out, and this game does not like is is throwing some red flags to me. Like I, I yeah, I don't know. Uh-oh. 
I mean, I'm going to keep the open the open eyes still, but still, man, this does not look like a like did like if you if I if you didn't call it Dragon Age, I would be surprised to call it, you would call it something like uh you would call it so you could you can call it its own separate IP. It doesn't even feel like the interesting the the style or the story of it. So like the game they had they they showed the 20 minute gameplay trailer of the game itself. This is more like an action based RPG. You know, hmm. like so, so mm. you're. It's like a hack and slash kind of deal. Without mm. uh, yeah. now, now I don't know if like if there's going to be any of the relationship, uh, the the relation, like how you were supposed to walk around and you had to, um, uh, like you know, in, incre- do your side things by like increasing your your uh, your friendships and things like that. But, but but how this looks looks like it's on a railway that doesn't feel like their their emphasis is is the story of what dragon age is all about and like even like the what's going on in it was like this doesn't even feel like dragon age at all I, man right. i so, don't know much about dragon age, but i feel like the doom and gloom is missing oh the, yeah it definitely does it, that's what that's it looks what it, too bright and fun that's what it is that, that and that's the big thing the doom and gloom I, is it is I, missing yeah it's like and expecting that, a moody teenager and they come out of their bedroom super happy for the week and you're like what did you do yeah, you know? I don't. Yeah, I have no I freaking I idea. Know. Like, I don't want to be pessimistic because we've been because people are we're literally waiting for years for the sequel oh, yeah. to come out of, from Inquisition, <laughs> and if this is what it is, let me try to skip to see if I can go past to like a ba- a battle sequence because like it literally looks like its own IP. Yeah, here's the battle sequence of it right here. So this is just like the look of this doesn't even feel like uh like uh like they care about the, well given this is a ba- this is a demo so we don't know if they're going to show any numbers or anything like that or how or how the battle battle system works but you but like how you see the normal like if you look at the hud on the bottom left hand corner uh with like the health bar and like the mm-hmm. the mana and stuff like that very simple very simple abilities and things like that it just feels like a regular action based uh, like an action based uh, yeah. uh game than just than than what what the whole lore was of freaking the game uh, right. do you have footage of a previous one that we oh, can compare to, to yeah. it's hard for me to compare. yeah reference because like this cool. looks like a game i would totally play yeah <laughs> oh i'm not <laughs> i'm not saying it doesn't look like, like dragon age i'm not saying that it, it, it yeah. may be a bad game like it just doesn't uh, it's just not the style of dragon it. age and, uh, yeah, and I, it need, sucks. I need a comparison i need to be able to see Fair yeah, enough. Yeah. I'll, I'll look it up. But what do you like? But while I while I do, what do you what do you what are your opinions of? I know you don't have a frame of reference, but like I do uh, a little bit. I've watched I've watched people play it uh, a long time ago, like like uh, mid two thousand, so like 20, 2009, mm-hmm. 2010, whichever one that one was. Um, and I watched them play for several hours. Again, it's missing that doom and gloom element. Like it's still a little dark and pessimistic y looking, I guess, but it doesn't have that like it's hard to explain it. He'll he'll pull it up in a second, but it, it really is missing that doom and gloom. It's like having how do I um how do I relate this to I say it's like it's, it's like, like having have- a friend that's depressed. And then they get on antidepressants and you're like, oh, everything's great and happy now in sunshine rainbows. It's very. Oh, but yeah, it's like speed one to speed two. Yes. <laughs> yeah. there you go. Very That's a good one. Very I, we're aging ourselves. But yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's exactly. Yeah. It, it's night and day difference. It's OK. So here's. OK. Here, here's this. Here, here's uh, what. Dra- the, this is Dragon Age. This is the first Dragon Age. Yeah. Uh, Don't forget we're on a delay. So, and I can. I can speak on the fact that I do feel that Bioware needs a dub here. They yeah. haven't done anything. Their last thing was, I think, Anthem. Uh, and that went horribly. I feel oh, like yeah. this is, you know, I don't know what their financials look like, but, you know, could this possibly be something that makes or breaks them as a company? I don't know. I don't you know. know either. Oh, wait. Let me, actually, let me just go to Dragon Age. Uh... Dragon Age Origins. Origins. Yeah, I mean, battle. Yeah, that looks pretty, pretty similar. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> this is uh, this does not look similar, it's dude. Not what do you mean, dude? I'm not seeing it, bro. I'm okay, not seeing this it. Is, Maybe I need this is this is this is uh, this is the battle. This is how battle was in uh in dra- in the original Dragon Age, Dragon Age Origins. <laughs> 
So like, uh, but like how, uh, if anything closest to it, it was kind of like how Knights of the Old Republic played. I don't know if you played Knights yes. of the Old Republic. Did you? I did not. Okay. I did. God dang it. You make this harder than it has to be. I know. <laughs> I know what yeah. you're talking. I've played, I've, I mean, like this still, it looks like an action RPG, it's, but you have that top oh. down element. It looks like they went into like a third person mm-hmm. view. The difference is, but the big, the big difference is though, is that you're playing the you you do have a full team, you have a full squad now. To say from what we have seen, to be fair, I don't know if that if that will change. Uh, but but uh, but how that looked, but you had you didn't have full control of your guy. You you tell your guy to attack, and then he had his own timer on attacking uh, on attacking oh. the, uh, the things. So the I got stuff, you. yeah, this like the real the the real stuff, like how it's pausing in the middle of it. You're telling. You're you're going through them and telling your telling each telling person to do, do a spell yeah. and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that is quite a change. Then. Yeah, it's quite. <laughs> a, but like, but I'm not saying I hate. Okay, so let me be clear. I'm not saying I hate the. Uh, I'm not, I, I hate the game because it's doing that. I'm just saying that like what, what Lex was. Yeah, what Lex is saying is that the facade of dragon age the whole deal of dragon age of like the of everything just does not doesn't match up to right to everything like even like how like inquisition and stuff like that was it was it still felt like a dragon age game you know mm-hmm. so like uh so but this feels like like it, it could be something else you know so <laughs> So be like that. That says, "Wow, it's the neat Fortnite trailer." Yeah, <laughs> yeah but well, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Again, I've only seen like maybe four hours of it. Mm-hmm. Every time I felt like he, w- the person I was watching, would come across an actual dragon, they mm-hmm. were always like in a dark cave that they had to be exploring for quite a while. Yeah, it was super right? dark. Yep. Like the 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 dragons weren't just like, hey, it's sunlight, and we're sunbathing like kitty cats, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In the trailer, I was like. Oh, there's a dragon outside. Yeah. Sunlight? Like what's happening? You know, yeah. mm. it looks cool. Now, my thought was, OK, maybe you get your squad after you do like the first two hours to get through, you know, whatever. Um, or you context thing or something yes. like that, maybe. Yeah. And it's your like, hey, this is how you play the game. And it's that like first two hours. And at the end of it, you get like your squad or whatever. I mean, maybe you know what? Even if it is, even if it is, this is not what I would. This is this is something I would not spend seventy dollars for. I mean, I I, I just seventy dollar game. Yeah, yeah, it's twenty seventy dollar game. Insane. So Uh, like, this is not something that I would ever say. Like, yeah, I want to pay full price for this because this is not. I mean, this like for. I think it's. I think what's annoying. I don't. I think it would. I think it will be. I don't know. I can't remember. And I will be playing it. Uh, but uh. (laughs) But I'm just saying that, like, I think how the like how this game, like the the delay, the weight, the people, uh, the 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 size of of how important the sequel is, or like uh, of this, doesn't feel like it matches up to what the community, like the level of the community's, like you know, expectations of uh, of it. Like the story better be like, I mean, but the biggest thing about it is like, you know what? Do this. I don't care. However. If you do like if you change the story to something so different than what the like how this game is, because this does not match the energy at all yeah. to uh to Dragon Age, then I mean the story better be like like has to be A plus, has to be top tier for it for, right. for them to 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 justify a change like that, is all I'm saying. So, so uh to answer Smitty's question, um at the Xbox showcase, they would have probably said if it was going to be first day, it's an EA game. So uh, usually it's nine idea. months to a year before we get it on Game Pass. Don't they have a problem? Wait, don't they have a deal with EA though? With EA Play? Isn't EA Play a part of like, you know, with uh, with Game Pass? Don't try to confuse me with big questions. I know at one point in time it was. I, <laughs> I don't know so. if that's something that's still a thing. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I don't well, remember. Simple. We'll say, like we'll be day one. Let's see. Let's find out. We'll be day one. Let's find, as simple as that. We have yeah. the internet. That's what I that googled. It's that and people true. people said no. Uh, let's see. Oh. Did you Google it? Yeah, I googled it, and it didn't. Can me. I didn't. 
<laughs> no, Jack, uh, four days it's ago. No, Dragon Age from It's very Esports. apparent that you did not know. Esports.com. <laughs> no, Dragon Age the Veil Guard will not be coming out to Game Pass at its at its launch. Okay, so that's okay. Go. I'm yeah, I'm Ooh, fine yeah. with that. So which is you, you know, again, if this was Game Pass, yeah, I'll check it out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If not, I mean, I'm pretty sure I have Inquisition, so I could always go back and play through. I Inquisition. think it's probably better for I'm you to not... play Inquisition before you do play that. Than Are you serious? Play. Well, probably yeah, because yeah. Inqu- Inquisition was a, is this a is good a direct game. sequel, right? This is supposed to be a direct sequel to everything, dude. It's like they all oh. they all connect. They oh. well, theoretically they all connect. So like like mm. time time frame. Like I mean, you don't need to play the previous ones to to play this one because they're like there's yeah. giant time skips, but like uh, oh, but, but they I all see. yeah they all connect. So. Uh yeah, but no, I, I advise to play Inquisition. Inquisition was a good game, so uh, um yeah, if you've tried it out, give it a good old, good, good old college try. The best probably frame of reference for you, since you've never really played any of the other ones, would be to play Inquisition first to before you play Veilguard, and then you'll be like, oh wow, this like this is a weird yeah. transition, you know? And but then yeah, go back yeah, and watch yeah. the movie Speed One, and then watch Speed <laughs> exactly. Uh, no, no, I remember jarring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that movie makes Adam Karsik. That is such a funny, funny, funny. Like, I mean, it's we'll we'll see how this it's is going Karsik. to go. Yeah, we'll see how this is going to go. Hopefully, it's going to be something that's going to. Uh, uh, I I really hope I'm wrong. I like you. I, I really I I seriously hope that's I'm cool. wrong about this. It just but. doesn't look like something I would pay seventy dollars for. Number one. EA is kind of on my shit list right now. Number it's two, always been on, it's always going to be on. Yeah, the, on the and number I three, yell at. what? Yeah, <laughs> uh, on the internet. Oh, <laughs> no. Poor guys, I feel bad. They sometimes. mess it up. They are going to get yelled at. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, they're going to come out and be like, "There's a season pass." People are going to flip. Do like, you guys like? Because because then they're going to be like, "Well, look at Anthem into right. this. If that's hot garbage, too, then like Woo. I feel like Bioware is done." I, Maybe not, but I don't know, dude. Ooh. Like, dude, like they haven't had a they haven't had a banger in such a long time that it might be it's yeah. possible. I, I mean, always wonder when games keep flopping, how do some of these guys stay in business? Like you, I just like where are no you getting money maybe. from? Like, or who's they bailing had, you out? You know, they managed I don't know. enough to be able to from something that they had a hit from. Yeah. you know, use those funds to fund a separate or another project or something. But, yeah. yeah, but to be fair though, like I mean, it's not like Dragon. It's not like uh, Bioware didn't get hit by those layoffs. I mean, Bioware lost. Yeah. A bit of their of their community of their staff from that, so yeah. so like they're probably on a uh, on a short list is what I would say. True. <laughs> so, yeah. True. So who knows? I mean, yeah. I wish them the best. It looks like a cool IP. Does not look like Dragon Age to me, but yeah. So again, oh yes. So they didn't even, what do I know? They didn't even fully announce it yet. So they said they're going to announce yeah. more information at Gamescom. So we'll, we're not going to see this until like maybe twenty twenty five. So, but we'll 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 see. We'll see how this is. But uh, why are you talking about it now, then, Davis? Now we have to wait. Well, does it matter? We've been waiting for Dragon. I know. Age. I know. <laughs> so what we'll see. Oh, uh, but anyways, but uh, Smitty, why don't you close us out? And uh, uh, what is what was your topic? So we talked about this about I want to say like a year ago or so. But uh, basically, Discord natively coming and being integrated into PlayStation and the PS5. Well, that is going down. They've been testing for a grip, and they are officially rolling it out. I don't. They didn't say a specific date. They just said it's going to start rolling out in Asia and basically make its way west. It'll go through. It'll be in the EU, and last will come over to North America and South America. Um, what that time frame looks like, I don't know, but it'll come down as a PlayStation 5, I believe, hardware update. Uh, I want to say this is going to be huge, though. Obviously, with with more games that have cross play and stuff like that, we're seeing more and more people being able to play together. Uh, and and if you've ever been on something like that, it doesn't have it. I know. I think PlayStation's like one of the last. Uh, to actually get this integrated, mm-hmm. um, 
you know, it, it it's difficult to try to play with friends and speak in, in chat or have Discord. You got to have a phone or earbuds and like, it, it's a pain. Yeah. It's a pain. So Double this is going to be huge. This is, again, another <laughs> W for Discord. Double um, earbuds you know. is just the funniest thing to me. I never, <laughs> I never thought about that. Dude, that's what I used it to have to do when I played Monster Hunter. Yeah. I would have an earbud in my phone in my lap, my head one earbud, one, and then I, I had to make sure it was the one with the microphone, and then my earbuds, and then yeah, it was a whole thing. Yeah. So is this, a, is this available now, or is it? Is it? It's mm, coming. Not really. It's being rolled out. No, I think it's still currently rolling out. They've been beta yeah. testing for a grip, and they are going to be rolling it out fully. They no didn't. Day a particular date they just said basically north america is going to get it last so yeah. it could be super soon it could be Six towards months. the end of the year i don't know but it's coming out at some point in time with that next major playstation uh update and it's super easy if you've done any kind of connection you go into discord connections connected to your ps uh, account and then within the P PlayStation, there's like a tab or button that you go to, and then it basically brings your PlayStation Five into Discord, um, and then you're able to to talk with your friends and and not have okay. to worry about earbuds and ears and stuff uh, like that. Okay, so I just want to make sure. So when you say that when you when you uh, so will it activate? on the PlayStation so you don't have to have it on your PC or do you have to have the PC Discord open for it to work? You know what I'm saying? No, no, no. It, no. It'll, it'll directly go into Discord on your PlayStation. Mm -hmm. So, like, you can... Uh, yeah, like, basically, like... Um, uh, uh, see, even it says. So it says, now that your Discord and PlayStation accounts are all cozy and connected, it's time to talk with your Discord friends on your PS5. This is via the, the Discord uh, blog. On mobile, slide up the voice controls, and you'll see a new button that says, join on PlayStation. On desktop, mm. on desktop, the button looks sort of like a phone and a game controller next to each other. Next, you'll be able to, you'll be asked to choose which console that you want to transfer your voice conversation to. Gamer magic happens in the background, and boom, your PS5 is where your conversation takes place at. So on console, you'll be able to use all the familiar controls from Discord, mute or lower the volume or of others while you get a snack, blah, 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 blah. See the name of voice channels and all that stuff. So you'll see the the had those controls natively on your PlayStation side for yes. Discord. So okay, to put this like let's say I'm on a Discord call with Smitty on my desktop and we're gonna play PlayStation. I'm not able to just go over to my PlayStation and it pulls it up in Discord there. I have to end the call with him on my desktop and then go in there. Whereas like if I'm on my desktop and then I walk out of the room, I can easily just switch it to my phone. You're not gonna be able to do that with the PlayStation 5 from what I have read. It's, and you don't have to have a desktop. You don't have to have it on your phone. You could just have Discord connected via PlayStation, but it's through PlayStation that you have to start the call. You can't start the call somewhere else and then go to your PlayStation and it just magically be there. Would you have to Wait, create what? your uh, no, no, I understand, I understand what she's talking about. She's talking about yeah. like transferring the transferring the call, the call, uh, the call itself uh, uh, in the different mm. kind of yeah, in a kind of roundabout oh, way. Yeah, sorry. <clears throat> yeah. So, but uh, but yeah, but I mean, okay. So, I guess so. Would that mean that if you when you own like you own your server that you're connecting to, obviously that's that's the that's the big gain for it. But the uh, mm. uh, but like does that mean on your server you you should create like a designated thing specifically for that? You know what I mean? Like like uh, an area that says game and chat, uh, game and chat, or whatever, specifically for a PlayStation server. Or or no, like, don't or think, like I think that. you can go into any. Oh. Yeah, you can go into any chat. As if you were in Discord okay. is my understanding of it. Yeah, I don't think there's any kind of like special thing. Again, I won't know because I've never had my hands on it. But mm -hmm. at least according to their blog, that's how I'm taking it. Well, I'll say this though, because like I've I've detested like the 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 community chat 
features, the voice chat features on PlayStation for years. It's not like it, it, they're it, not it's, that great. <laughs> it's never been good. And like no. and, and I've always wondered, like I was like, wow, when Discord was coming up, I was like, wow, it would be kind of cool if Discord decides to be like the people to do this, you know. And then, mm. you know, and then, you know, like for year and like by now, I mean, like you said, PlayStation's the last to do this, but they they've gotten in partnership with like Xbox a long time ago uh, with that. Mm-hmm. I don't know if the I don't know if the integration is there yet, but I know that they've been. Oh, yeah. But, no, no. That's been there. Oh, I think that there? came in like last year. OK, cool. Yeah. So like so I know it's there and I was like, OK, this is so much better than instead of worrying about like, you know, some stupid snot nose kid that just randomly comes in and just, you know, acting yeah. a fool. Uh, acting I don't a fool go to in-game deal. chat really yeah. rarely anymore, the f- dude. It's just toxic yeah. and trash. The first thing that you do on Helldivers 2 is mute the chat. I mean, the voice chat. That's, <laughs> that's the first thing you do. It's funny because everyone, and like it's like an unwritten rule. It's, it's, it's to that point. So, like, uh, yeah. So what's even better is that now I'm just thinking about it. Can you imagine, like, you're playing Monster Hunter, like, Monster, when Monster Hunter, uh, what's it called, comes out? Uh, uh and then you'd be playing that on PC PC players and that and not worrying about oh this person's on PlayStation we can't we can't talk to them and stuff you just have that right. one community communal way of uh, of chatting I I am looking forward to this so this is going to be awesome easier. Yeah, yeah just kidding very much so and that's what I would oh, be on Discord call with was when I was playing Monster Hunter World I would have my my phone earbud in connected to Discord on my phone then my headphones over it was and then my hmm. playstation microphone because i was also in playstation calls and then i would right. go back and forth with certain people on discord who weren't it was a whole thing yeah, it terrible. is a whole thing it's terrible yeah this is huge i've been waiting for this so we don't yeah, have i a- feel like I, I feel like i don't play my playstation as much because my friends are on pc and discord and i have no way of being able to communicate. I feel like this will actually get me to play PlayStation games with my friends more where I don't have to be necessarily sitting in this computer chair, sitting in front of my screen. I could be mm-hmm. chilling in my bed in the bedroom, you know, playing or whatever. You know, you have a uh, phone, right? Yeah. Why? You could just get, get on your phone and be on discord. Discord on your phone, mobile, discord yeah. mobile. I like that. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't like doing that. What are you talking about? We already talked about the. the I know, I know. <laughs> um, also, 2022 was when Xbox got Discord, so it's been wow, like, so two years two ago. Years. Yeah. Wow, okay, so there yeah. you go. So it's just, of course, PlayStation. Welcome to the club, PlayStation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's What's just the date? Basic- we don't know. It's basically PlayStation thinking oh, that they no. can that they can take care of it themselves in house. As always, it's not the case. So <laughs> and realizing, nope. yeah, yeah. So <laughs> don't. Well, good, good. I'm, I I just wish they have a date because I looking for. I'm definitely looking forward to it. I wouldn't know if it's going to give you incentives if you're an, if you're a Nitro player or if you're a uh, a, a subscriber. If you get any kind of incentives on that, that would be pretty cool. Because I mean, Nitro's starting to get up there in price now too. So. I'm just saying. Yeah. But anyways, but yeah, the, no, that's cool. I mean, looking forward to it. The, the possibilities are endless there, and uh, uh, this is a this is a good thing that, a good thing to have. And it just seems like every year, it just seems like Discord is getting bigger and bigger and bigger, which is they're making see. moves. They've been making moves for a little bit, dude. Like they're kind of like because I know I think ultimately their goal is to be to also include like live stream, like being a live streaming platform. Mm-hmm. You know, an all-in-one built-in uh, streaming platform like that, which right. they've positioned themselves, you know, fantastically. The community is already huge. Why I the hell lo- not? I just love the fact, because remember, Microsoft put in a bid on wanting to buy this company, uh, buy Discord. A oh, yeah. Years back, and I'm so glad they said no to that. So, yeah, mm-hmm. thank God. God, okay. Well, mm-hmm. well, that that's awesome. Well, we'll see. Hopefully, we'll just pray to God that, that we get this soon. <laughs> so, <Yeah. clears throat> folks, thank you for listening to episode number 223 of the CFG Gamecast. Thank you for being a part of the conversation, as always. We will be back again next week with a whole new series of different kinds of topics. But if you did miss out on this episode, that is perfectly all right. We do release it on all podcast services uh, uh, at the each and every beginning of each and every week. So there is absolutely no reason to miss out on our sexy, sexy voices. 
Yes, guys. Also, be sure to check out the uh, uh, some. Uh, we're getting a brand new episode of uh, What Do You Think Spoiler Cast. We're going to be doing Avatar Season 1 this week, as well as the uh, uh, hopefully check out Smitty's uh, review of Destiny 2. I'm actually really looking forward to the, the review of Destiny 2 because like, I am not a Destiny 2 player. So I'm just going to go by the eyes of Smitty, which is going to be very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> If I should trust that, but we'll see. <laughs> I'm just you kidding. should. You should. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, uh, once again, this is Davis, Lex, and Smitty signing out. Y'all, take it easy. I love you. Bye-bye.